out, ladies and gents. Rumor Reviews here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because I'll be adding a new channel. Uh, and I'll be doing some impromptu asthma videos because that, <laughs> that looks ridiculous and a fun time. And I already kind of whisper anyway. <laughs> anyway, so this is about Grownish. This is uh, Season 2, Episode 2. Now, let's just talk about this just for a couple of minutes. We have Zoe, who is just so controlling. Zoe is actually, if you watch Blackish, Black she's just like her TV father, you know, and, and, uh, Anthony Anderson, um, Dre on Blackish, just like her father, just a teenage woman version of her father. Because they're both controlling, they both have all these different type of rules it's almost their way or the highway and in this episode you see how with her friends they had a lot of it was cell phone oriented and rules based on how other people perceive you instead of how you really perceive yourself and it was bad i mean it was really bad i mean she had a panic attack at one point because her phone was dying and she wasn't um who's having issues with her friends and it's it's sad but the reality is that's actually pretty normal it's pretty normal for a lot of people it's not just for women it's for men it's not just for teenagers it's for adults we set all these rules for ourselves and this is and it's a part of growth because you see how with older people how once they get to a certain age they do and say whatever they want <laughs> I'm not saying that's the way you need to live your life. I'm just saying that if we just take a little bit of that and just put it towards other areas of our life, we'd be good. But just talking about the show itself, the main conflict was there was a rule when it came to relationships. Now, Doug and Jazz, their relationship goes as follows. Whenever there's any type of function where I think essentially the opposite sex would be there, at the very least, you either don't go or you let the person know you're going to be there. Um, I think that's more so jazz rule, let's just be honest. But the issue is, Zoe went to this uh, party in campus and she saw that, oh, Doug is there. And then so she was reaching out in a separate group chat because let's be real, all of us have different group chats for different people. <laughs> and so she went in the group chat that didn't have jazz or her sister in it and told them hey this is what's going on what do i do what do i do and they were telling her well he's not doing anything so why are you so upset but and then another person was saying yeah but he shouldn't even put himself in that situation and it was like so then she was going to, taking videos just wanting advice what do i do what do i do and the messed up part is that jazz found out because she was told by, I don't remember if it was Anna or if it was the other one, told her that, hey, this is what happened and sent her a screenshot of the conversation. That was stupid. But Jazz, this episode, I think she realized that she's a very strong character and she's very opinionated, she's very stern. And it, throughout this episode, we see that her sister doesn't have an issue. The other ladies, they come back around because Zoe realized, okay, maybe she's doing too much because she also had a rule that her phone could never die. Her friends, they all log into the same app so that you can know where they are at all times. I said, oh my God, that's too much. That's too much. Even though our phones have that in there for location anyway, a lot of people don't know that. Um, But part of the problem was that Luca, who I thought that he was going to be upset because something bad really happened. No, he was just upset because his girlfriend wasn't responding back to him when he wanted her to respond back to him. Again, that was another form of control. So when they came back together, he even told her, hey, my problem isn't with you. It's just it was a control issue of my own and I was putting it on you because she realized, okay, she had a panic attack and let me just go and approach this situation differently. So Zoe apologized and said, Look, we need to stop saying all these rules for each other like that. But I just want to apologize in general because I know I was doing too much. And everyone was cool by the end of the episode except for Jazz. I think the main issue with Jazz, it's not with Zoe. I think Jazz realized, oh, 
do these group of women actually like me or do they just tolerate me? Because you can't tell me that she was just upset just because of Zoe not telling her. Um, I think when she found out that there was a separate group chat and that there were other conversations with Zoe, even though there was another separate group chat where Zoe wasn't in the group chat and was talking about Zoe and her own relationship. So they all do this to each other anyway. So they're all hypocrites. And so that's why everyone had to forgive Zoe except for Jazz, who, like I said, I feel like her issue is bigger than this and it's more so with the group than just her. So we'll see next episode what happens or after that. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.